Competition is rooted in comparison. When you look at the world, you are instinctively aware of other people's performance. Their performance is the ultimate yardstick. No matter how hard you tried, no matter how worthy your intentions, if you reached your goal but did not outperform your peers, the achievement feels hollow. Like all competitors, you need other people. You need to compare. If you can compare, you can compete. And if you can compete, you can win. And when you win, there is no feeling quite like it. You like measurement because it facilitates comparisons. You like other competitors because they invigorate you. You like contests because they must produce a winner. You particularly like contests where you know you have the inside track to be the winner. Although you're gracious to your fellow competitors and even stoic in defeat, you don't compete for the fun of competing. You compete to win. Over time, you will come to avoid contests where winning seems unlikely. People with strong competition talents have the ability to stimulate themselves and others to a higher standard of performance. They can raise a group's achievement level by creating a culture of winning and an aspiration to be the best. Words that might describe a person with dominant competition talents. Scorekeeping, comparing, winning, measuring, aspiring, driven, intense, selective. Create daily measures of success for you and the teams you're involved with. Strive to learn what it takes to win consistently. Frequently, review measurements of your past performances. Your talents will naturally drive you to identify and surpass your personal records. Select tasks, roles and work environments in which you can measure your achievements. You might never be able to discover how good you can be without competing. Identify an achieving person against whom you can measure your own achievement. If there is more than one, list all of the people with whom you currently compete. Without measurement, how will you know if you won? Take the time to celebrate your wins. In your world, there is no victory without celebration. See competitive friends. Try to turn ordinary tasks into competitive games. You will get more done this way. When you win, take the time to investigate why you won. Counterintuitively, you can learn a great deal more from a victory than from a loss. Let people know that being competitive does not equate with putting other people down. Explain that you derive your satisfaction from pitting yourself against good, strong competitors and winning. It is not satisfying to outperform a hobbled player.